So the Tans are about to attack the city of Tan Chi Minh, and the orange nation of Tangeria has dug themselves in and turned the whole city into a giant city fortress. So just look at this, that we've got defenses everywhere. And this map was made by me, so I hope you do like it. And the Tangerian leader submitted me his plan on the Discord. So we're going to get a little picture up here, which he sent me. And this is, this is an aerial photo of the map. And we can see all the little X's, the tank barriers. And we can see where he wants all of his units. And I've, those little dots that you see, they are mines. So there is mines all around the city, and like I say, this is a giant city fortress. And I cannot wait to play this battle, it took me absolutely ages to script this. But I have pretty much made it exactly how the Tangerian leader wanted to defend the city. I mean, every roadblock is where it should be, every mine is where it should be. And the Tangerians have got to defend their general, which is General Tang, and he is held up in the town centre. And he is one of these guys in here, let's see if we can find him. So if we look inside here, I think, where is he? He's got the bodyguards, he's got everyone in here, look. I think he's in this back room there. Um, he, I don't know, he's somewhere in there anyway. But like I say, it is up to the Tans, the Tan Rebels, who are going to be attacking from the south, and also from the northwest. Uh, they're going to be attacking from two flanks, and they're going to be trying to take the city in just one swift blow. So this is going to be a really interesting battle. So before I unpause this battle, I am going to read to you the Tan strategies as well. Because like I say, in the Discord... I do take everybody's strategies on an event like this and I merge them together and make one giant battle. So the Tans decided in phase one they want 50 men, two mortars, two field artillery to be each on the western flanks. They are currently dug in and are ready for their orders when they need to account like counter attack. So there's those dudes, you can see them on the map. And um, Now for phase two they will consist of two waves of Tan infantry being a total of around 100 men on the south and 100 men attacking from the west flanks of the city. Tan loyalists will also be supporting this attack from the east. Um, and phase 3 will consist of 100 men to move in as reinforcements on the western flank, along with two BTRs, one Puma light tank. So that's going to be really cool. Um, there's phase 4. And the reinforcements will charge with around 100 men, two Chihi tanks, two more Pumas and give signal to the defensive lines, those guys that are dug in in this position and this position. And then they're all going to be charging at the same time in one giant counter attack. And then even after that, so phase 5, General Kerberos from the last battle he is going to be approaching from the northwest with only a part of his army because he left, he's left a lot of men behind to guard the road into Tan Chi Minh to stop any reinforcements from getting to the Tangerians. So what you see is pretty much what you get right here. So let's unpause it and crack on with the battle. So we can see that the Tangerians have a very, very good, good chance to win this one. And they've not been having uh, much luck lately with all the previous battles. This campaign has been a doddle for the uh, for the Tans so far. So hopefully the Tangerians might be able to get their own back. We've sent a couple of scouts out there, look, to go and investigate the border. No idea what they're doing. These look to be... Um, what are these? Oh, the battle's commenced already. These are definitely... Yeah, these are loyalists, I think. These are Tangerian... Yeah, these are civilians with weapons. So this is a militia force that we're overlooking here. You can tell because they're not wearing any helmets. There is some um, scouts here from the Tans as well. This is going to... I can't wait for this battle. It's going to be really, really cool to watch. And like I say, everything which the generals told me to do will happen um, to some extent on the, on the uh, main battlefield. But I can't wait for this. So like I say, you've got General Tang in the center. He is in that building somewhere. All these walls are destroyable. You can, I think you can hear some of the battle kicking off in the distance. Um, but if we look over here, we can see... There we go, look. We've got the uh, main Tangerian force. So this was the first wave which will be attacking from the south and from the west. So from this side, we've also got a western flank attacking as well from the Tans. And these are under the command of General Lu Tan. And General Lu Tan is currently off-field. And he's actually represented in my Discord as well as a proper general. So look at this. So the Tans have come to a halt at the minute and they've got a... What have they got to attack? So the Tans have got to deal with this dug-in BTR right here. Look, all getting a bit of lag there. Must be some units um, spawning in. And there was also a T-55. The Tangerians do have four T-55s in total in the city limits. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. So this is going to act as a sort of bunker. They are stationary. 
and they're holding off the towns on this flank pretty damn well. They are armed with some grey K-47s, a mix of rifles, and also some Panzer Shreks. Look at that, we've got some Panzer Shreks. And they have got to rely on these Panzer Shreks to try and take out these vehicles, because they don't have much in the way of AT, you see. Um, whereas the, uh, I think the Tangerians do have some AT, and they're up against some militia here. So the militia are holding them off as best as they can. Um, wall to wall combat, I think. So we can see that flank is doing all right over there for the uh, Tangerians, but this flank is also doing very well for the Tangerians as well. Look, we can see that we've got a T55 and a BTR. Look, and I have no idea why that uh, that barrel is going straight through the wall. Bit of a glitch there. But I think the best strategy here would be for this unit of soldiers to either go through this wall and outflank these vehicles. I just wonder if the AI are going to do it because I don't want to take control of any of the AI. Um, because the AI are going to pretty much do everything themselves. I've literally scripted them to do everything that I wanted them to. So this is the first two waves. Um, the third, I think it's the second wave or third wave, I can't remember. Uh, the one with the Puma and the BTRs will approach after five minutes. So we have got a lot more waves of tans to come yet. So to, we think this is a lot of tans already. You wait, we've got a whole army, a whole army to come. Including some of Kerberos's men. And General Kerberos will be leading the attack, so we're going to be able to see Kerberos leading the attack. And if he does die in field, um, because he is a main character, we're not going to kill him. If So if he dies, he is going to be injured. But if the Tangerians do win this battle, he will be captured and interrogated. And the rule is in my Discord, if they do capture a general, they can hold them for as long as they feel fit. So... I think that's a really cool way. That way we can keep the main characters in the series. Then, oh, an explosion just happened over here. Oh, this is lo oh look, we've got a uh, Tangerian counterattack there. No idea why they're doing that. I did not script them to do that. They must be doing that on their own accord. We've still got a Dishka defending this line, and like I say, every one of these defences was uh, chosen to be placed down by the Tangerians, by the Tangerian general. So, a big shout out to the Discord for coming up with all these uh, cool strategies, and I'm really enjoying this new way of making battles. And you have to let me know in the comments as well, are you guys enjoying this new style of warfare with the whole interactive battle map with all the flags moving around and, you know, I think it's pretty neat. I think it suits the series very well. So, the Tangerians are holding them off really well, really good. And if we look over here, I wonder if there's any more. We've still got a lot of men, but they're, they seem to be pinned down in the grass at the moment. They cannot get through these blockades. And these blockades have been placed down very strategic. Very strategic. They, they won't let any tanks through. And we will have some uh, tan tanks coming in in the future. Let's have a look over here. So here comes the wave with the BTRs and the other lot of men. This is another wave of... Uh, oh god. But we have to take into consideration as well. But the Tangerians did mine the road. And you can see all the mines there. Depicted with these little green flags. So let's see how far these BTRs get without blowing up. That would be interesting. But this is one of the more bigger waves for the... Uh, the Tan army. And the, I, I do keep saying Tan and Tangerian a lot. You know, but there's, there's no other way of saying it really. I could say Orange, I guess. But um, that, that's the names you see. The Tangerians are the Oranges and the Tans are the Tans. So, you know, I am going to just say them by their name. Oh, look at this. So this guy completely avoided the mines. And this dish could, Oh, God, we've got a body part flying around. And so this is this could be good. This could be really good for the, uh, for, the for these guys right here. Look. So they did capture these from the previous battle, and like I say, whatever they capture in a battle, especially because they're rebels, they can do up for themselves. I'm going to do like a one turn limit though. So if they, say like these, um, for example, these BTRs get captured by the Tans, yeah, or this tank gets captured and not destroyed, um, th there's like a one turn rule, so they have to wait another video, then they can use them in the next video. That way it gives them a little bit of time to... Uh, it's like recruit to fix it up and stuff and get it in action. So this looks very good, this counter-attack. looks very promising. The oranges are still holding them off pretty good though. Pretty damn good. This this southern um, attack has completely been brought to a halt. Apart from this part here, look, we've still got a squad of men holding this wall. And I don't think they're willing to move any further forward because that Dishka is just too much for them, I think. But let's have a look at this counter-attack. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. I've got a lot of men. They're actually moving across now as well. This is this is what we needed. And these are the defensive lines that we saw on the uh, battle map. They do consist of some field artillery and some mortars. And if you look closer, we can see the mortars are shooting and giving some covering fire to the Tan Advance. And they're doing really good. They've actually blown through 
some of the uh, some of the blockade. That's just what they needed. I'm not too sure if that T-55 is still active. It is still active. Look, it's holding them off pretty well. And if we look over here, what do we have over here? The Puma got taken out straight away. They could have done with that. They could have really done with that to take out that T-55. Because even though they're only a light tank, the caliber of the weapon is still very high. And if we hit one of these T-55s from a good angle towards the back of it, because the back of a T-55's armor is a lot weaker than the front, you see. So these guys are going to move up slowly but surely. Um, that's a good that's a good tactic. Lie down, lie down on the floor. Crawl your way in the dirt. That's what you need to do. Let's have a look further towards the center. You can see all the defenses drawn up. There is a command vehicle here, which is a Kometa. And that is the command vehicle which is in charge of all the T-55s. I know it is a bit lighter than the other T-55s, but they wanted to put their heavy tanks on, on guard. And then they wanted to put their light tank in command. Because they thought that the heavy tanks would be more... More productive in battle. Uh, they we're doing really well so far. I mean, it's really cool that the Tangerians are actually holding them off somewhat because, like I say, they've not been getting a lot of luck in the latest battles. We've even got some troops on top of rooftops, look, with the OK-47s, look. That looks so neat. I love this. Um, what else do we have? Uh, soon enough, we're going to have the next wave approach. But I don't know when. I think they're scripted to come in after 600 seconds, I believe. So not long at all, not long. And like I said, we've also got Major, not Major, he's now General. General Kerberos is also going to be approaching as well from the northeast. And the northeast is that direction over there. But we can see there's a lot of tans still left over, look. And we've just got to wait for them to push up. And I don't think they can push up because they get, they're under a lot of fire. A hell of a lot of fire. But if they do stay here for too long, I will give them a little nudge. Other than that, I'm not really going to take much control of the AI itself. As I have scripted most of them to do it themselves. Let's have a look over here. We've still got a whole line of uh, Tangerians, some oranges over here, look. <laughs> They're not even in battle. So this looks very promising. It looks very promising. Uh-oh. <laughs> we lost that line, though. That line, they just had it. They, they didn't last long at all. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, waiting for the next wave. So should we speed it up a little bit? Let's speed the battle up a little bit and bring the next wave in. So if we move it to number five like this, and we're going to wait for the next wave to approach. So we will see them. And these guys are not going to stay in their trenches forever. These will attack with the main with the main forces. So you'll see these guys move out. Oh, there we go. Let's unpause it really quick. Go, go, go. There we go. Oh, so these guys are going to move out now with the main attack. And here is the main attack right here. Look, they are going to approach with some tanks as well this time, because they didn't they didn't really approach with any tanks before. This will be the Chihi tank, which you saw in one of the previous battles. Obviously. Um, General Kerberos took most of the vehicles with him to stop the reinforcements from reaching uh, Tan Chi Men. And like I say, whatever happens in this video does affect what happens in the next. And the strategies of the Tans lately have just been off the charts. So that's why they've been winning because they've just been putting, they've been like countering everything. They've been thinking of every strategy literally possible. And look at that, that is the main force. These are under the command of General Lu Tan. And there is 400 men under the command of Lutan, um, and another 100, give or take, of militia. And then you've got Major, not me, I keep calling him Major Kerberos, but it's General Kerberos. He um, is in command of the other half of the army, which is around 600 men. And like I say, he's going to be approaching from the northeast, but not with all of his troops, because he needs to leave some men near the road. Oh my god, look at this, there's some action going on over here. These guys are trying to take on a T 55. Sorry, dude, you've got no chance, absolutely no chance. Uh, you guys might have a chance though if you outflank it. You know, the AI on this game, they need to get a little bit smarter. A little bit smarter. There they come. No idea where these Chihi tanks are. Where are the Chihi tanks? Anything can happen in this game. Sometimes they deploy, sometimes they don't. Who knows, maybe they broke down. Maybe they betrayed them. Oh, look at that. Look at the sandbags falling. The physics, man. The physics. Uh, what we're doing over here. But they're pretty much done for. L literally. This Is there any way they can take that T-55 out? It's going to be really hard for them to take that T-55 out. If we look over here, oh, the men are actually starting to push up now on this flank also. We've also still got another active T-55 though. But these guys lack AT grenades. Um, I thought I gave them them, but they don't have any, you see. So that's something that the Tans need to issue them. And here comes the rest. I thought they'd come. There was a bit of a delay look, but they arrived eventually. I love those little square things. It makes them look even more plastic when they rotate like that. So this is the main force of General Lutan. And if these guys die, that's pretty much all of Lutan's men. 
because like I said, that'll be all 400 of his men deployed. So these guys, they're really focusing on this T-55 now. And these guys can't take it out. Oh, or maybe they can. That was a direct hit from a mortar. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Maybe his track. We could take out his track. And he's using his coaxial machine gun as a, like a movable bunker. So these Chihis might be able to do some damage to it. Oh, they've already done damage. Look, they've overtook it. Oh, if they don't blow it up, that means the Tams might be able to capture this for future battles. So we could maybe respray it tan or something. That'd be pretty neat. We've got a Puma tank moving up over here. And the, they have got to get through these barriers. And they've got to push through towards the center. And I don't think these guys did all that well over here, did they? Nope. The um, These were loyalists. These were Tan loyal or Tangerian separatists, shall I say, which were attacking from over here. But they lost instantly, you can tell. I didn't even get a chance to move over and see how they died. But here comes the main force. So this is the main push on the on the city of Tan Chi Minh now. This city fortress. I can't believe it. I, I just love it. I love this sort of map. I love suburban sort of city maps. Oh, we've got extreme lag there from an explosion. They did blow. They've, they've blown the crap out of the uh, T-55. Oh my God! Look, the Puma made it through. The Puma's actually made it through. You, it's up to you. It's up to you to do this. Come on, come on, dude. He's going to rush straight into the building. Don't go straight into the building. Do not, do not go straight in there. If he goes straight into that building, he's screwed because, like I say, General Tang is inside that building. There's a grenade thrown over here. Let's see how this is going. Not doing very well at all. We've got a lot more tans moving up. I think this is me. This is General Kerberos. Yeah, this is General Kerberos's handful of forces. Let's see if we can actually locate him. And if he does fall on field, it's no big deal. He'll just be knocked out. And uh, maybe we could bring him back um, if, unless the Tangerians win. If the Tangerians do win, though, oh, there goes another T-55 explosion. If the Tangerians do win, though, Major General Kerberos will be captured. I keep calling him Major Kerberos. I think there's just more of a ring to it when you say Major Kerberos. And um, where has he gone? You'd see him because he's wearing this big shiny armor. But we can't find him at the minute. He is somewhere on field. I wish I caught the charge. Maybe we'll find him later. Well, we might see him eventually. Let's see how they're doing. They're pushing on the center now. We have a Chihi tank riding through. Oh my god, look at that. We have got some soldiers left over inside. There he is. That is General Tang right there, look. With the pistol. Oh, okay. Maybe not. That was General Tang right there, look. And now he is gone. So General Tang, if, if General Tang does... If they lose this battle, if Tangeria loses this battle, General Tang is dead. He is no more. And it's unfortunate, really, because their defences were really good. And this was actually a really close battle. But we can see that the Tans do have the superior numbers still. And they're just taking it street by street at the moment. We've got a main advance from this side. And we do have the Commuter tank, though. Oh, it's one-on-one -on -one with the Puma. Oh, I think no, I think the Puma's already taken it out. We still have a lot of infantry surrounding the building, though. Well, we had a lot of infantry surrounding the building, though. Now, no, they're all gone. They're dead. So, what are these guys going to do? We've got a lot of tans moving up still. And um, I don't think the mines really worked all that well. They must have um, predicted the mines being there, and they purposely went around them. They've got a lot of reserves over there. But again, the tans are just on point with their strategy. Absolutely on point. And they did have two companies of soldiers in the city. Oranges had two companies. Oh no, that beautiful fountain. But you're paying for that. You're paying for that. That was beautiful. Oh no, this is carnage. The tank versus all the men. Let's see if we can get a uh, suicide bomber going. Let's see if we can get a dude. So maybe we'll get this guy. Uh, no, he's not got one. We'll get you. See if we can charge him into the tank. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Can he do it? Can he do it? He's not. Is he going to get shot? No, he got shot. No, there's machine guns. There's too many people aiming at the center. But this was an overwhelming force, an absolutely overwhelming force. It was still though, it still it's accurate to the series and that's really cool. So the next battle after this, that means the Tans have managed to take um, Tan Chi Minh River. They've managed to defend Tan Chi Minh and cut off the supplies. And they've even managed to take the city itself. And like I say, the battle decides itself. It may be a little bit unfair um, in numbers and whatnot, but we, we still have a lot of men on the roof, rooftops look. I don't know why they're not looking. I think they're all hiding look. <laughs> Playing bobblehead. That thing where the, the head pops up and you've got to hit them. Uh, we'll do that with an AK-47 in a minute. Oh, not an AK-47. A GK-47. A grey K-47. That's, that's what we need to say. Or an OK-47. If the GK-47 gets given to an orange, they simply just call it an OK-47. And these guys are trying to get this dude on the roof, I think. I wonder if we can throw a grenade down there. If we can press that one. Oh, we can. Oh, this is cool. 
No, maybe not. He just got his guts blown out. He just stood up. I think you guys are right. Whatever I control just instantly gets killed. But here comes the remainder of the the Tan forces. So this is definitely going to be a victory, I think, for General Lu Tan. So a big shout out to Lu Tan in my server. Um, he is the guy that um, wrote down all of the plans to invade this city. And it is super unfortunate that the Tangerians didn't win this because I was vouching for the Tangerians on this one. I tested it a couple of times. I never test the battle until the end, so I don't know the outcome. But I, I, I do test the battle somewhat. I never know what the um, outcome is going to be, so it's a shock to me as well. I was really vouching for the Tangerians. I'd hoped the Oranges would have defended this city somewhat. But now we're going on to, we've got four companies of Tangerians left in Tan Chi Minh, the capital. Not Tan Chi Minh, Tanoi, the capital of Viet Tan. And we also, look at that, there's so many of them. How many men would you say that is? That's We're going to estimate uh, Lutan's forces now. I'm estimating it to be around, I'd say around 200 men. There's definitely around 200 men left. They're all rushing into the center now, look. There is no more There is no more resistance. Yeah, they did really well, though. They blockaded every road. They set up the mines. They did a super good job to hold them back for as long as they did. And that is the third battle in a row for the Tans now. The Tans are doing super well. And I just can't wait for a Tangerian victory now, to be honest. But I'm not going to script it. Whatever happens in this video, like I say, affects what happens in the next. And this battle could have went either way. So, to sum this battle up, the Tans won. The Tans have definitely won. Tan Chi Minh will belong to the Tans now. If um, if we do find, let's see if we can have a little nosy and find the general. Is the general over here? No, that's just some dead dudes. Um, but the General Kerbos would have entered the battlefield. So there he is, look. <laughs> There's General Kerberos. Yep, he's been knocked out. So because the Tans won, he is currently, um, he is currently just injured. We'll just say that because he is a main character. And like I say, things can happen though. Let's say a tank was to shoot him enough to blow him to bits. Then, um, yeah, he'd be no more. There would be no more General Kerberos. But yeah, General Kerberos is incapacitated. General Tang is now dead. And Tan Chi Minh belongs to the Tans. So, a big thank you for everyone that's uh, watched this video. So, do drop a bomb on that like button and also shoot that subscribe button. Or the other way around, you know. I, don't, I, don't, I can't remember how I say it. But, <laughs> um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.